What's up guys, Mr. RoboCarrot here, and I've got a review of WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, I, I must say, this looks exactly like WinX DVD Ripper Pro for Windows. But I bet you there's something different, you know, there has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Sue's just laughing in the background. Anyway, so, uh, I had a pile of four DVDs that I, uh, that I owned, and I was like, what if I could, uh, put those as an mp4 file on my computer, and then I was like, yes, WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, that's where it, that's where it, that's where it is, so I got a scary movie four here, uh, as a DVD, so, oh god, okay guys, sorry, I was kind of like rudely interrupted, but, um, this is an 84-minute uh, PG-13 movie, so let's put it in. The beautiful noises of DVDs. <clears throat> so uh, I'll go over the uh, the first option here. If this uh, if this wants to load, I don't know. I think it's I think it's dancing up a bit. Okay, stop recording. Okay, there we go. That was, uh, I just let me close Minecraft out. There we go. So here we have our scary movie for uh, the uh, E drive, which has the DVD. So I'm just gonna click cancel real quick. I meant to click cancel. Okay, that's fine, never mind. Uh, Okay, so here's how it goes. First, we want to choose the uh, output. So we have many, many different um, things. But let's go over DVD backup first. So uh, we can clone the DVD to a folder and then use. I think it, I think we make an ISO image, which, which would then go back onto the new DVD. Oh no, the ISO file will play will be a VLC and easy to burn. Okay, so yeah. So then you burn the ISO image to another DVD, which is what that would be, I'm guessing. I don't know how DVD DVDs work, but can you uh, put things on them once there's already something there, Sue? Uh, I think so. Can you can, like, overwrite things. <clears throat> so you have all your Apple devices. Um, I'm pretty sure the only difference would be, like, the screen resolution is what's being changed here, and the codec. So, you got your iPhone 6 Plus, and then the two different uh, thingies. Uh, also, if you want to use the, uh, the original resolution or the uh, suggested. Uh, you got your iPads and your iTunes video, then you have Android pads and Android mobile. You have all, all of your... Uh, all your devices, Blackberry, PDA, you know, just like got one of those sitting around. And you can do the YouTube one, which is, uh, I guess, M M MPEG-4, I guess that's the best. Oh, uh, we can click OK on that one now. And then we have all of our, all of our, uh, all of our scenes, you know, how the movies, you know, divided into the different... Titles, you know, when you're watching it. So we have the sub subtitle selection, so we can enable um, English, and sometimes they don't have subtitles like this one, unknown. Uh, so yeah, we can edit. Now we can also edit the uh, the clip. So this will play it. We don't really want to so let that play. So we can see it starts to play. Uh, we can adjust the volume, you know, if we want it to be louder quieter. Uh, we can adjust the subtitles, I guess. Um, oh, another beat. This adds a subti subtitle file, I guess. Um, here we can crop the video, so let's see if we like made it smaller here. And then apply. Okay, let's pause the video now. And we got the subtitles there. And now we can also trim this if we don't want it to be as long as it is. Now it seems, as, at least with this DVD, 
it seems as if the movie plays the entire 84 minutes and then it has these extra one minute and seven minute files seems like it plays again or something so maybe maybe that's like scene selection so i don't know uh now let's see we can click each title but we only want the first one i guess so i guess if we um if this wasn't separated into the uh different titles then we'd want to select all of them to rip but we only need the first one <clears throat> We have our settings, if we wanted to go through them, the profiles, the resolution, the codec. Oh man, I'm tired, I was just running. Okay. Oh, by the <laughs> way, by the way, uh, you can click the uh, one, two, or three buttons on the side of the screen if you want to skip over, you know, if you're not interested in some parts. So, oh, that's, you're gonna have to check that out, see, that's, pre that's some pretty good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we have safe mode. We have how many cores we want to use, and then we have our output folder. Some of these pointless things that we probably don't need, so we can watch the movie if we want to, make sure it's the right one, I guess. And then we can click run. And we can shut down our computer when it's done. I suppose if the um, remaining time was to say 12 hours, you want it to turn it off when it's done. But this says 22 minutes, and that seems like that's about how much how long it's gonna take well it's going down I'll uh okay I can hear my computer turning pretty quickly <coughs> turning the fans now it's just 40 minutes I'll just uh, I guess we can uh, speed this up okay guys while we uh, let this uh, load we're gonna sing say a little poem not sing uh, it's called Something New, I believe. Yeah, something new. Something's lost. Life's constant has changed. Something's found. The unexpected reigns. Two with understanding. No agenda to cloud the way. One evening to be free. Just dance the night away. The certiquous journey that brings us both this way. Forget for just the moment. Just enjoy this way. As night's end drew near, my gaze from you withdrawn. The right thing, sweet friend, make room for another dawn. Just then my eyes found sky, struck by the beautiful sight of Venus and the moon conjoined sharp and bright. The sight, a reminder, as your smile had been tonight, of just how beautiful life can be when things line up just right. And my joy at being near you, I hold close to my heart. Your delicate touch remains long after we're apart. Okay guys, so uh, it finished rendering, or what would you call it, ripping, would you call it ripping, something like that. And then it opens the WinX DVD folder, so as you can see I've done it again before. Um, Want to make sure we find the one from today, because there's a lot of other ones. These are like, if you were to select all of these titles, then they'd all be a different file. I'm guessing it's this one. Let me see, properties, July 21st, yep. So now if we were to click on it and the video comes up here, the quality is as good as you could expect it if it were a, uh, good woman raised. If, it, if it were, if you were watching on TV. That's what I want to say. Okay, let's turn the volume down and then I guess suppose we can watch it. So I don't see any, you know, it's not that bad. You have the subtitles wherever they are, and yeah, it works. So now, so now we can get rid of that disc, and then I guess upload this to YouTube if you wanted it to wanted to play that dirty, because that's like copyrighted or whatever. You could do that, and then we could put this inside a folder you know, your movies folder and, you know, watch it later. You can put it on your phone and uh, watch it on your phone. And now you don't have a disc. Now you have your movie right here. It's perfect and uh, very useful, you know, just sitting there for hours converting all your movies to MP4 files. Would you spend, uh, how many DVDs do you have, Sue? Mm, millions. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, I suppose if you have your like home DVDs, you know, you can always take those and put them as a file. Okay. <coughs> so now, if we were to have an ISO image, I suppose we could, um, I think an ISO also is an operating system, so you can put that on a DVD and then, um, run your computer. You know, if your computer runs off a DVD, get your uh, operating system, put it on there, and then have it, uh, have it go to your, uh, your stuff. If you know what I mean. If you don't, then, uh, <sighs> sorry. Anyway, uh, this will be the end of the review. Uh, I'll leave a link to pick up DVD Ripper Platinum. You know, there's a holiday discount going on right now. But uh, I'm not going to mention prices because for some reason whenever you see reviews on like those tech channels, they never mention prices. Which is weird because I always want to know the price without having to go on Amazon, you know, and find it or click the link. So I'm just going to do the same, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's wrong to share prices. <laughs> but the original price is $60, which... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think that's worth it. The Mac, For some reason, Mac version is cheaper. Maybe it has less uh stuff but yeah sixty dollars is uh quite the price to pay but it's on sale now so you don't pick it up right now if you want to i'll leave a link so if you enjoyed this video you know a like and a comment would be appreciated drop a subscribe if you know if you feel like it and uh winx or dvd or digitary has some pretty nifty products winx Blu-ray decryptor sounds pretty uh, technical. Yeah, have a great day. Can't see this, but Alex, Alex, what did I do? Click the link. Click it right now. Type it in. I don't know what I did wrong. Type it in. Look, what did you? Did you see what that? the heck? Let's go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, why, Alex? You, you need to spell things right next oh time. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I, did, I typed it right! Oh man.